Good morning, dinosaur. Steve is talking, so. You enjoy today, so head on out there. Have fun in Barbados, and we'll see you when you get back. Schwartz was talking, so, but I still said hello to my dinosaur. Good morning from Barbados, by the way. We're in Barbados. We are heading to breakfast, walking down the hallway. It's uh, just after eight o'clock and we have to meet at 9.15. We have an excursion today, which is the Pirate's Go Beach with open bar. And here's my other morning dinosaur. So we're off for breakfast. a few things and now we are off to Barbados. Hey, beach time. We're off to a bar in Barbados. Barbados. Mm, yep. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Bye. Good morning, American elephant. We're going to Barbados. Bye. I guess this is like a brightly colorfully painted terminal building. Huh. So I'm guessing I don't want to go that way toward the cargo ship. Let's go away from the cargo ship. So we're headed down to the passenger terminal. I think it said uh, we are supposed to meet just outside this terminal building. I don't know if they mean this outside or like that outside, but we'll find them. I hear steel drums. All right, so neither of those were the passenger terminal. The passenger terminal is past both of those buildings over here. That's a good little hike over here. It's through the building. The mail cabin to the left. Yeah, the passenger terminal building was to the right. Now we're following the sign that says tours or whatever. We are following the red dots for ship tours. Green dot for general exit, red dots for ship tours. Got it. That is in other languages. Cool. <laughs> Look out, good to know they do have a Diamonds International right here in the terminal building. Check that out for convenience. But we are still following the red dots. Yay. All right, we found our sign. We are down here at point number nine. We got all checked in. Got my wristband that says drinks. We're heading to a bus. So I got my drinks included wristband. Whoop, whoop. We are on a bus. Ready to go to the beach. The end. That was only like a, I don't know, five, ten minute bus ride over here. A little sardine bus. <laughs> oh, there's holes in the parking lot. Arr. Come play on the pirate ship. Welcome to the beach. Okay. Welcome to paradise. Enjoy a rum punch. Well, I think we will. <laughs> have arrived. Yeah, I guess you can get any of these chairs under the umbrellas and all that stuff. Cool. Gonna see if there's enough stuff for you to look like you're gonna see some fish. There's some grass and stuff out there. We are here. Are you ready to get in the water? It's warm. I'm ready. So not too bad. We just got here. We got solicited to go out for like a turtle excursion and then a guy trying to sell us jet skis. But we made it to our chairs. We're going to go see if there's any fish to be seen out there. Underwater mode activate. Uh oh. Sneezy mode activate. Are you allergic to ocean? She's, a, she's allergic to fish. Guys, we have a problem. 
Yeah. Look at all this beach. Bad. It's not rocky, it's just sand. Oh yeah, this is just sand, sand, sand. You see fish already? Just a little one, yeah. Oh, that's cute. A little bit. I don't know where she's going. Hopefully she doesn't see anything fantastic because she left her camera with us. But anyway, nice and calm. She's out there. Well, I'd say getting fish footage, but huh, no, she's not. There's our Barbados water spin. Ah, sun mode. I got sunscreen all over my face because somehow my skin doesn't absorb sunscreen or something, but that's all right. Uh-oh, she's coming back up. Either she's seen something cool and she wants her camera, or she's determined that she's not going to see anything today. You seeing any fish? Okay. Any little guys? All right. I can't stand there. Yeah, there's no, there's no, we can't stand. I'm already out past the point of touching. I haven't come too far out from the beach. It's already overhead. But, oh, there she is kicking up. Stop it. She kick us in the face. So rude. You want your camera now? Oh, here she comes. All right, go get us at least at least some minor award-winning fish footage, even if it's a little silverfish, some sergeant majors. Apparently, they're all around because she didn't even swim away. She's just like, oh gosh, here come some waves. Yeah, some of these passing boats <laughs> are generating us a few waves. <laughs> it's like, here, have a camera and go look at fish, and then she swims more toward the shore because that's kind of where the fish are here. Ooh. Good number of people trying to sell you stuff on this beach, but I guess that's to be expected. So I think the same group has come around to try to sell us the sea turtle snorkeling adventure three times. Ross is his name, so if you see Ross dressed up like a pirate, apparently he's going to take you to see some turtles. And then we had one person ask us if we wanted a jet ski. Then we got in the water, so unless they swim out here to solicit us, they can get us. We're safe out here in the middle of the... Is this the ocean? I don't know, Caribbean Sea? Whatever body of water this is, because I am good at the geography, okay? After we get our swim on for a little bit, we'll have to go investigate this whole rum punch situation because this is supposed to be open bar. It includes rum punch, rum mixes, it says. I assume maybe like rum and cokes and stuff. Uh, and like sodas and presumably water. It didn't say water, but <laughs> presumably you could get some water if you tried hard enough. So, should be a good day. Here she comes from the shore. This is like the opposite of what normally happens. I'm out deep where I can't touch and you're like up at the shore filming fish. This is kind of funny. I know that's where they are, the little baby uh, silver dews. That's the technical name, silver dew. Yeah, you can't touch right here. I can't touch this. Wow, 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 that's terrible. Do you want to go see a turtle? Do we going to see a turtle? Do we want to go see a turtle? Like right now? That where are they? With Roy, right? R Ross. <laughs> yeah, I can't really hear you, but I can kind of understand you're talking about Roy and the turtles, but his name's not Roy. We could call him Roy. Yeah, this he's see he, there he is right up there in his uh, sort of pink pirate outfit. Yeah, they're trying to sell people the turtle excursion. I'm gonna call him Roy. You know what? I like the name Roy. He is now officially Roy the pirate. Do you think it's safe? Well, I don't know. What to go with him? Yeah. I ain't going. Oh man, he's look. He's talking to us. Ross. I'm gonna call him Roy. Ross Roy. Look at him. He's gonna he's gonna come out in the water and get us. Okay. Look out! All the pretty fish and stuff we got. Guys, I thought we were safe in the water. Confirmed, not safe in the water. Roy knows how to swim. So look out. If you come here, Roy can swim. <laughs> oh gosh, he's gonna talk D into this, I already know. Ah. Oh help me. He's talking her into it. Uh oh. Guys, we're in trouble. <laughs> Barbados Roy is talking D into this excursion. Somebody said help. We need help to repel Barbados Roy. Barbados Roy, if you end up watching this, we apologize. You're a good dude. You're doing your job. But I didn't know you could swim. 
All right, you're off to get some more footage. We decided against Roy the Pirate. I named him Roy. We're gonna go see what you can see out in your grasslands first. So, not a bad deal. He was offering a one hour glass bottom boat slash snorkeling tour, but you know, you get an independent vendor away from the ship like that, and you, we've done independent things like that before, but you're not protected when you go do things like that. And plus, we're just having a chill day with our rum drinks and all of that. So we told Roy the pirate politely no, and he's moved on to other folks now. <laughs> it's like, I feel bad, but we already had our day planned. So now we have D, the mermaid, in our swimming mode. But there is his glass bottom boat right over there. If you come on the Pirate's Cove day and decide you want to go on a trip with Roy the Pirate, you can go on his glass bottom boat. Just noticed I can see the ship from here. I had not even seen that before. Hello, Breeze. We're the only ones here today. We've actually been the only ones in our uh, respective ports at most of our stops. I think we had friends in with us at Grand Cayman, and we'll have friends in with us at St. Martin. But other than that, the Breeze has been on its own in all these ports. I guess because it's such a unique itinerary for the Breeze. I know uh, it was the very first time the Breeze ever went to Grenada, so they had some sort of a ceremony with a plaque, I think they said, and the captain yesterday. And I think it's the might be the Breeze's first time ever to Barbados, and I'm pretty positive it's going to be the first time to Dominica. So that's kind of cool. We're getting out here to, I believe, this white buoy is where you're not supposed to necessarily swim past. But this is getting out here toward the good stuff. Oh, I see some rocks and all. This is the good zone. You see anything fun? So there's this nice little corner. Dee said she got some, maybe some semi-award winning fish footage, which is awesome. I think we're gonna swim back up to the shoreline. We've kind of drifted actually right out here by the glass bonnet boat. And then we're technically not the yellow umbrellas, but we are the straw grassy umbrellas over there. So I think we're gonna head back to the shore. Maybe either swim in the shallows or check out this whole drink situation. Because we gotta check out this whole situation you know all right so we have made it back up to the shore that was a hearty little swim i think we're fighting like an outgoing tide there yeah. <laughs> so burned off some calories well, and i think it really is yeah unless you get out to that rocky section so i think okay. we're going to check out the drink situation yeah. and then probably come back in definitely so but yeah beautiful beautiful if you're ever just looking for white sandy beach Please just to it. swim in clear water that's it, not a whole lot to see in the way of snorkeling, but just a nice, cool looking beach to hang out on. Yeah, I know, they're swimming around my feet right now. <laughs> ah! All right, let's adventure. Off to the bar. Look, there's some stuff you can pose in. You can put your head through there. You wanna be a pirate? If you've ever wanted to, you can just stick your head right in there. Oh, you do wanna be a pirate. Oh, you have to be, oh. You have to be a kid to do it? Man, all right. You were almost a pirate. <laughs> so close. Yeah, let's come and wander up here and see what's up. Oh. Pretty good. Tastes like, uh, I feel like there's some Coke in there. It's like rum and Coke and maybe some fruit punch. I don't know, a little bit of everything. I don't know what goes into a rum punch. Besides rum and punch. Coordinated swaying. Ah, yeah. I like it. Yeah, this is just a super pretty beach. I think we had just determined this is the beach that's closest to like Half Moon Key style sand and water that we've seen, where it's just totally smooth. And the sand is like raked with mm -hmm. like the waves pushing it. It's, yeah. There's no rocks at all. No rocks, totally manicured, white sand. Mm -hmm. So if you can't get to Half Moon Key, come to Barbados. It's probably harder to get to Barbados on a cruise than it is to get to yeah. Half Moon Key, but Maybe. still. All right, I went up I went up and got a rum and coke. Uh oh, maybe she does like my rum and coke. The rum punch is sweet. The rum and coke. Yeah, the rum uh, rum and coke is a little bitter, but I like I like the sweet drinks. 10:30 10:30 in the morning. 
It's five o'clock somewhere in the Atlantic Ocean, maybe five thirty at least. I like huh. frozen girly drinks. Yeah, those are not included. Just wait for Mr. Sancho's. Yeah. Alright, uh oh, we're getting solicited hey. again. Hey! Fast boat with that big one. Yeah, You're not gonna you. see nothing out there. I know, that's alright. <laughs> alright, we've had our couple of little drinks. Well, you had one, I had two. We got a guy doing his solicitations over here. Back into the water. Other than the constant solicitations to do things and go on tours, it's very much like half and key. But still a beautiful beach. But definitely be prepared to either be solicited or be like no a whole bunch well, here comes the boat don't get run over by the boat shipwreck turtles there they are right there glass bottom boat you do love the turtles oh <laughs> no thank you wow he, he, he's soliciting us from the boat that's good just drive your boat by come on get on they have got it down here the sun has gone behind some clouds. The D is kicking us in the face. It's a good day. I'm okay with the slightly overcast. I just don't want to see the rain. Look, I got a cool shoulder pad going on. You guys check out my new fashionable shoulder pad. Secret pouch. That's where I keep all my cash is in my shoulder. You know what they say, brush your shoulders off. It's because you got too much cash on your shoulder. Oh, I see the sun coming out. Whoop, there it went. It was shadowy. The water's so pretty when the sun comes out. It's like, it's worth baking just a little bit to have like the pretty sun-colored water, you know? Sun-colored water? Yeah, that's a thing. So I'm drifting out to sea, slowly but surely. I think I'm just gonna float my way to Dominica. I won't get back on the ship. Bye, Carnival Breeze. I don't know if uh, Pirate Roy can swim out this far. So he's left us alone uh, ever since we gave him a, a firmer no pretty safe. I'd say we're safe, but no, solicitors were coming by in boats, weren't they? So never mind. You're never safe. Always be diligent of your surroundings for solicitors coming your way. I think our excursion said that this is technically considered Carlisle Bay, I think, is the area that we're in today. Really nice. The sun went away again, so the water doesn't look pristine and blue. We're getting out here now toward the darker water with the rocks and the fish and everything to look at. But it's kind of a nice mix. You have a real big sandy beach to play in and if you swim out here it's not too bad of a swim because we've done it twice now. You can just kind of come over here. I see a bunch of seagrass and rocks and hopefully she's getting all kinds of award-winning fish footage. If she is, we'll probably have a fish montage right about now. She's going that way. I see seagrass down there. There's a clump of something over here. Hopefully this is not that big anchor thing that I was looking at earlier. Maybe we can find something good. Let's go on our own little snorkel adventure right now. Y'all report back to me if there's anything dangerous or, you know, has teeth or anything like that down there, so. One, two, three. Y'all got a little water drops on your face. There you go, all better. Oh man, she's getting far away again. Oh, there does look like there's a nice little dark part up here that's a little more in the shallows to look at. <gasps> she's so smart. She finds all the good fish zones. Oh, I hear something behind me. Oh, hey, I'm about to get run over by a boat. Guys, danger, don't get run over by boats. Pro tip. You seeing anything good up in this zone? Cool. This is actually pretty close to the shore. This is a nice little area. Yeah, all right. D has approved the area. Yeah, I know, I told him I almost got run over by a boat just now, so. 
We really make sacrifices. We risk, we risk our lives every day to make the best quality content that we can, like this. Oh my gosh, I'm risking my life so hard right now. You guys just don't even know. Oh. Man, it's worth it. It's worth it for you guys. She's giving me thumbs up, so she's seeing cool stuff. I'm just sitting here being an idiot, spinning in circles, but you know, that's kind of what I do, so. <laughs> Does she think she either saw a baby seahorse or a baby gar or something like that earlier? So that might be our find of the day. <laughs> Got a few dark clouds peeking in over our beach down there. I guess it's not the end of the world if we get sprinkled on, but hopefully it doesn't last. Looks really nice out to sea, but you know, I'm not going to swim that way. Unless I really am going to Dominica. Nah. The rum is this way. So we got a little tiny baby raindrops coming out of the sky. But you know, we're in the water, so kind of doesn't matter. This hat is already toast. It's the one that went in the ocean the other day and it's just all crusted with salt. Delicious, yummy things. And can't really wash these hats. So this has become my swim hat now. The drops have gotten bigger. We're either gonna get run over or rained on. So either way. are stopping. I guess I'm not going to melt today after all. Of course, there's no telling what this boat's doing behind my head, so. Alright, look, y'all got a little water right here on your face. Here, you might want to take care of that. Better? Uh, kind of. That is a jet ski making weird uh, pulsating engine noises. Kind of like a, a jet ski alarm. <laughs> oh no, thank you. See, we just got solicited in the rain on a jet ski. They are good, man, I tell you. Raindrops keep getting on the limbs. Okay, she found another fish. It's like that big. Oh, I thought you were just telling me okay. You were showing me the size of the fish. Well, you know, it's an okay fish about that big. What'd you see? A eel? Glub, glub, glub. Go get him. We thought a, a seahorse was going to be the highlight of our day. Or a gar, whatever it was. Now we got eel footage. Well, I, we don't care how big the eel is. It's not the size that matters. We are going to have to start charging extra for these videos with all of the amazing fish footage that we put in them. So we're going to have to start making it so like everybody has to pay a penny to watch these videos. <clears throat> That eel, you gotta tell me an eel is worth a penny. If your computer has a disk drive, you, you remember what disk drives are? Or like a CD drive or like a slot, just stick a penny in it right now. And don't, because you'll probably break your computer. If you find a USB slot, stick a penny in it. Don't, don't, don't. All right, there goes the Tranquility Cruises. 
We're heading back ashore now. The gentleman on the Tranquility Cruise has let us know that we are kind of out in the boat zone. See, they keep all the fish out in the boat zone. That's how they get you. They're like, you can snorkel out there, but we're going to keep all the fish in the boat zone and you have to pay to get on a boat and go see them. No, but we're going to head back ashore for now because we are sort of out in the jet ski and boating zone. Maybe see if we can get another drink or five and uh, we'll see from there. So we're back up to shore. You said it's what, 1120? Yeah. Okay, I think we have until about two o'clock. Oh, like, is that a fish and, uh, fifth leaf? Let's investigate <laughs> the amazing Barbadian leaf fish. Oh my gosh, never before documented in the wild this closely. It's a dangerous fish. You never know when it might attack. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, glad we survived that encounter. We were lucky today. Next time we might not be so lucky. <laughs> what? You laughing at our encounter? You That's rude. Dad, we barely survived. Yeah, we barely. Survived. Barely. Right. Let's go have a drink okay. to celebrate our survival. Okay. Oh, let me stand up. There we go. <laughs> I'm from everywhere. Water mode number two complete. So I think we've earned a drink or seven. Seven? No, not seven. I think I said five earlier. One. Seven. And they do have showering facilities right up here by the restrooms. Five of them. Little changing room slash shower facilities. And some restrooms. And a bar and a beach. What more could you need? Oh no, we've discovered abandoned hat. What in the world are you doing here in Barbados, abandoned hat? All right, we got our rum punches again. Rum punch is pretty good. Not very strong. It mostly tastes like uh, Coke or something. No, it's strong. I mean. What? Ooh, that's really good. Oh man, we found a new drink combination to make D dance. Coconut rum and pineapple juice. It's like there you go. Really good. All right, do your coconut rum dance. Is yeah, that's a good one. The regular rum burned a little more. The coconut rum is very smooth, dangerously smooth. One thing that was a little different is we didn't really get an orientation when we got here, so I didn't know what time the bus uh, would be here to get us. Just went up front and they said that the return options are 2.30 and 3 o'clock, I believe. So about 2.30 we should uh, catch a bus back to the ship. So we've got a good couple of hours to hang out still. This is a nice long excursion. I got coconut rum and orange juice. Let's see if you approve. Not as good as the pineapple, I don't think. I like this orange juice. Yep. Oh well. So you, you found your favorite for now, coconut rum and pineapple juice. Nice. All right, we're going back in the water again. Water mode number three. What? 